I'm gonna pick up on it. It's in Egypt. 1914 is the key year we were supposed to look up when we read. It said in the uh, Jehovah's Witness pamphlet I read, it says, that's when they say Satan was defeated and the Messiah appeared in 1914. Okay, now I'm going to read something historical that happened in the same year that I read in that Jehovah's Witness pamphlet. Uh, 1914, the British. The British cabinet decided that a forceful personality was required to deal with the situation in Egypt. Kitchener, Kitchener received the appointment and took over the duties of British agent and consul general in September 1911. On September the 29th, Italy declared war on the Ottoman Empire and Italian forces occupied coastal towns in Tripolitania, which is in Libya. Tripolitania, or Tripoli, in Libya. On Egypt's western frontier. Egyptian Muslim enthusiasm for the defense of the empire rose high, but the use of Egypt or of Egyptian troops by the Sultan in the war against Italy was quietly prevented. On December the 11th, Egyptian forces occupied the Gulf of Solim, Solom, called Kalish as Salum on the evacuation of the Ottoman troops from Saranaka. And Sodom was formally incorporated in Egypt on April the 9th, 1912, thus ending a long-standing frontier dispute with the Ottoman government. During Kishinur's tranquil and on the whole popular proconsulship, nationalism returned to Quiescence. The pan-Islamic fervor in the early years of Abbas's reign, and again in 1911 during the italo ottoman War, never took firm hold of public imagination, and with the Ottoman military collapse in Tripolitania and the Balkans had become an anachronism, anachronism the Anglo-French settlement of 1904 denied the nationalists further French support and the Young Turk Revolution of 1908, which shook the foundations of the Ottoman Caliphate, convinced the Egyptian Norwood nationalists that they must seek their independence alone. Kitchener continued and extended Gorstis program of reform in 1912 a homestead's exemption law commonly known as the five peasants law was passed this measure protected small peasant holdings from seizure for debt so the government can't just take over these poor people's houses in egypt the peasants law was passed this measure protected small peasant holdings from seizure for debt. An organic law of 1912, 20, I mean, on uh, organic law of July the 21st, 1913, which replaced the enactment of 1883, constituted a single legislative assembly in place of the two former chambers. The new body comprised 66 members elected by indirect vote and 17 members appointed by the government to represent minority interests. While it was still confined to consultative and deliberate functions, it had power to veto any increase in direct taxation, to delay bills and initiate bills of its own, and to record its opinions on administrative business. The president and one of the two vice presidents were appointed by the government. The other vice president was elected by the chamber, which chose Zagalul Pasha Sayyid, or Said, Pasha Said, the future Wafdis prime minister for the post, Kahidivi, 
Abbas. Khedivi Abbas intervened less in public affairs from the beginning of his term of office. Kitchener had treated him with undisguised scorn. Abbas had first favored and then quarreled with the nationalists. And now he fell foul of the legislative assembly. He dismissed the prime minister, Mohammed Said Pasha, and appointed Hussein Urusti Pasha, who held office throughout World War I. The protectorate, when World War I broke out, Kinchiner was on leave in England and Abbas was on a visit to Constantinople. The former became Secretary of State for War and never returned to Egypt. The latter was frankly involved with the enemies of England and was forbidden to return. The Egyptian government immediately on the declaration of war threw in its lot with the Allies. The entry of Turkey into the war rendered the juridical position of Egypt. From the British point of view, on impossible anatomy, and accordingly, a proclamation was issued on December the 18th, 1914, by the British Foreign Office. In view of the state of war arising out of the action of Turkey, Egypt is placed under the protection of His Majesty and will henceforth con constitute a British protectorate, the suzerainty of Turkey over Egypt is thus terminated and His Majesty's government would adopt all measures necessary for the defense of Egypt and protect its inhabitants and interests. So this is why the Eastern Dictionary says the white people is who Egypt belongs to. And I looked at, I was so mad that I could not believe they would say that each belongs to them. Like it belongs to them alone? Are you serious? The original inhabitants, every statue you have in the British Museum, everything you have in the Louvre in France, those were the new inhabitants that moved into Egypt that year. This is the Napoleon Bonaparte's family that comes in and desecrates the Sphinx and shoots off the nose and starts to shoot off the nose of all of the notable people in the biblical history that they were studying in the Crusade period that made them try to take over Jerusalem in the first Crusades. Now this was a new crusade that they thought they was gonna win again. That they engrafted all these cloned people that they have cloned down there in New Schwabia in the nether regions of Antarctica, in Hela somewhere, in the bottomless pit. Mm. This is enraged me. How do they believe that Egypt belongs to the white race? I read that in the Eastern Bible. I'll touch that note. But this belief of this, because the Greeks in the third seal, when Marl, Marbio mm. was the archangel for the 3,000 year period <laughs> from the 2001 to the 3,000th year the third seal was open and it was a marble during that period Abram the biblical Noah died Abram was 58 built an altar in canon 2108 BCE mm. which is the edited BC date Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed 2067 BC. So we got 2047 after the creation of Adam, okay? The great famine in Egypt, when the 12 tribes of Israel mm, came into Egypt, 1876 BCE, 2230 years after the creation of Adam, Israel in Egypt. These are the children, the shepherd kings who inherited Egypt from the kingdom of Nimrod, who are the Cushites, was formerly Cush, and the Kad, which is Kani. So now Israel has inherited lands of Cush and inherited lands intermingling and being part 
of the ruling class of those ancient bloodlines. Now, they be claimed to be Semitic, but they were also Hermetic people. They dwelt in the midst of the Hermetic peoples and the Gentiles of the North. Israel stands in the midst of them. So, so 1876 BC, I'm an Israelite. Mm. Burnished brass, colored, dark skinned. Mm. They called us niggas, <laughs> or Negroes, or Negada, the black people. <laughs> And that's who I believe that Egypt belongs to. Mm. But it has a British mandate. Okay. Now, I like what the king says to a certain extent. He's going to protect the inhabitants of that land in 1914. The king of Great Britain made Egypt his protectorate. Mm. He's going to protect them. Mm. Maybe if I was still there in Egypt mm, and I was one of the citizens... I could use his weapons of, you know, protection to protect my country from being destroyed by and protect the ancient landmarks and all our history from being wiped out by the Ottoman Turks. Okay, if that was the case. Mm. But he just says, no more Ottoman Turk rule over Egypt. We're going to take it over for Great Britain. That's what he said in 1914, the start of World War One. That's just why the war started. And all of the native Egyptian people from all of that period of Nimrod to the tribes of Israel in the third seal. The Exodus with Tut Moses, I have at 1666 BC. Solomon built the first temple in Jerusalem. I have at 1186 BC. 220 years different than it's chronicled in the European chronology in Great Britain. And they say it's 966 BC. Mm. So I have a, a different number because of something I know. Mm. And everything that the, the British chronicle from that period has to add 220 years to it for it to add up with the historical date of the tribes of Israel mm, dwelling in the land of Egypt and coming out. Because some people chronicled it differently. They said it's a 400 years uh, it, uh, that, that they were in the land of Egypt. But they didn't come out in the 400th year. They came out in the 210th year, mm. which was four generations. A generation is 50 years or so a jubilee of years. 49 to the 50th year is a one generation. Okay. Four generations is 200 something years. But some of the biblical chroniclers of the Western theology says 400 years. They misinterpret it because he says four generations in Egypt and then they came out mm. and conquered Canaan at the Passover and all that shit. That's why it got misconstrued from the Latins and from the Greeks. Revival after the Revolutionary War, okay. And Mephistopheles is a famous playwright. Mm. Fast. About this man who chose to serve the devil. Mm to become wealthy and become rich and get the girl he wanted. It's a famous playwright. This is what the, the, the Germans believed in. It's a famous German play. Adolf Hitler was one of the people who liked it, that, that playwright. And I, I, I happened to, to study it after I studied about him. In all of these world wars, I had to study this. This was something important in history in high school. And we had to learn this shit. <laughs> Then they wanted to put us in ROTC in the military and shit. So, okay. At Thyatira, the fourth seal, Mephistopheles was the fallen angel that presided over this period. Okay. 3,000 to the 4,000 year after Adam was created. Okay. Have, this is like during the time of the Book of Kings with Elijah. And Jezebel and all of those things. First temple in Jerusalem was destroyed. We have at 586 BC. And then it's corrected at uh, 810 BCE corrected date. 
3,000 in four years after the creation. 